And now let's bring in George Tillis, Senior Markets Correspondent here. George, uh, we're talking C3 AI. This is a volatile stock. Uh, you know, it's got AI in its name. You would think that, uh, you know, it was explode to the upside. It's pulled back from uh, 2023 year highs. But what are you uh, looking at here going into earnings? Because there's a big short interest in this name out there. Yeah. Actually, you brought up a couple of great points, Tom. I mean, first, just look at the price action. Obviously, the stock made a huge move. I think it was trading around 13 or so dollars at the beginning of the year. It ran up considerably in May or into Q2. That was also coincidentally when NVIDIA started reporting those fantastic numbers. But if you look at the price performance since then, you can actually see it's been drifting. Uh, it's been drifting lower. Now, I mean, there's no doubt year to date, I think it's higher by close to 170 or so percent, 52 weeks up 140 percent. But I think uh, when it comes to C3 AI, you know, short interest is something I was actually going to bring up. It's high, around 35 percent of the free flow. So uh, that begs the question, what's going on with the company? Now, if we consider the business, obviously, enterprise artificial intelligence is going to be the norm uh, across the board in every industry group, uh, irrespective of what they're in. Also, from the standpoint of consumers and businesses utilizing artificial intelligence, the question is, is one, is this company growing fast enough? And two, are they growing uh, towards profitability? If you look at the earnings profile for the upcoming quarter that they're about to report, the earnings estimates are for a loss of 18 cents. Now, uh, that's OK, considering stocks that may be growing, let's say, 20, 30 or even 40 percent Now, for the quarter that they're expected to report. 19 percent is the number in sales at 74 million uh, compared to 64 million last year. But let me back up to that earnings. If you look at last year, uh, irrespective of this uh, this increase in revenue by 19 percent, they lost 11 cents. So it looks like the losses are worsening for C3 AI alongside with top line sales growth. So that to me speaks to potential challenges and in, in expenses, cost of goods sold. I think the other thing about C3 AI, which again is very important, I suggest, when they report their numbers is the number of customers. In other words, the concentration risk of customers, because going back just a couple of years ago, they, they declared as a company that more than 25% of their sales came from one customer, and that was Baker Hughes. They do have a lot of exposure in the defense markets. Booz Allen Hamilton is another customer of theirs. But I will you know, stress, this is a market where, again, profitability is going to make a big difference. That's why we're seeing the video hold up very well. And some of these non-profitable uh, artificial intelligence companies that are facing some competition are starting to drift lower. And I think C3AI is moving lower for a reason. Yeah, George, this company IPO'd about three years ago, still not profitable. It appears with their investments back in the company in sales, in R&D, they've given up short-term profits for long-term growth. The yeah. question is, right, th those kind of names are falling a little bit out of favor they have in the past. You know, the stock is up this year, but still 75 some percent off its highs where it was, George. Yeah. Is this stock still on a path? I mean, it's in a obviously a crazy popular sector of the US economy. Is it a growth stock worth owning, George? Well, I mean, it's a good question, Kevin. You know, I will say this, just look at the dispersion and price action, obviously, you know, if you look at the main architect of artificial intelligence hardware, NVIDIA, that price is, is holding up quite well uh, on a year to date basis, even on a 52 week uh, high basis. I think that if you look across the board, artificial intelligence was a was a big it's still a hype. Uh, I think it's still growing, but I think it comes down to competition. You know, AI or C3 AI was or is a company that was, uh, you know, a namesake company prior to this craze that we've seen in the last year. But you also have to think about the competition, which is becoming very robust uh, in this space. So one is the growth company, yes, uh, but one would say maybe even in the high teens sales growth uh, that they're expected to report this quarter may not necessarily be sufficient to offset the, uh, the loss profile. Because just to give you some perspective, they generated about 273 million in sales last year, but they lost $261 million. Now, they have 750 million in cash and equivalents on their balance sheet, but that represents over 20% of the share float. So some would say because of the cash burn, they have to have cash on their balance sheet, which they do. But that's again, gonna be a challenge to overcome considering maybe revenue is not growing at 20 or 30%.
Yeah, all right. Great backdrop for us here, George, on C3AI going into earnings. Appreciate it. That's George Tillis, Senior Markets Correspondent.